Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm looking at the little prints uh, published by French publisher Ludonat, designed by French speaking designers Antoine Baza and Bruno Catala, with illustrations by the original Le Petit Prince author Antoine de Saint Exupéry. And the book is celebrating its 70th anniversary in 2013, so Ludonat has this celebratory game to commemorate the event, which is going to be released in, I think it's eight languages right now, uh, with a release date around April 2013. Uh, this was an advanced copy given to me by Ludonat in November 2013. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about the game and how you play. In this book, you are working with the prince. You want to build him a planet, idea, okay? And you want to build him and the other characters in the book a planet to fit their specifications, what they're looking for most in the world. What do they want to see? It's going to be a tiny world, only 16 tiles, but it should have everything they want. You'll score points in The Little Prince based on the characters that you add to your planet. You'll have four different character tiles. Each one depicts a character and how they score points for you. So the hunter gives you three different three points for each type of animal you have. And the drunkard uh, gives you three points for each tile that's flipped face down. Because, of course, drunkards always end up face down, right? So That works. That's thematic. Uh, the Turkish astronomer is going to give you one point per star in the sky. The king... He's going to look for roses. If you have a single rose, that's worth 14 points. Two roses, of course, are less special because now they're more common. Uh, seven points each. If you get three more roses, they're garbage. I don't want roses. Roses are trash. Give me something rare. Give me something unique. Okay. We have the vain man who's looking for snakes. There's yellow snakes in there. We've got the gardener who's trying to... Take care of the baobab trees. One baobab gets you seven, two gets you 14, three gets you trouble, which I'll get to a little bit later. And of course, the little prince himself, scoring for the boxes, each type of sheep that we have on the board. Here are the components for the little prince. You've got the stacks of tiles, you got a box, which of course you will need only to store everything and to score points at the end of the game using these tiny little scoring tokens. Otherwise, you just put all the stuff aside, it doesn't matter. But you have these four stacks of tiles you are going to shuffle the tiles face down, shuffle them all up. With five players, you're going to keep all the tiles in the game. With four players, you remove four of each. With two or three, you remove eight of each tile, throw them out of the game. Otherwise, you shuffle up, play with everything here. You designate a start player. That player is going to draw as many tiles as there are a number of players in the game and reveal all those tiles. So what type of tiles do we have? We have... We have the right sloping planet tiles, we have left sloping planets, we have characters which have nothing on the back, and we have central planet tiles. So after I flip these over, I'm going to take one of these tiles and start making my planet. I put it here. I then designate another player, say that guy over there. He will come in and take one of the tiles based on some qualification and choose another player. That player takes one of the remaining tiles, and so on, and so on. Whoever gets the final tile will then choose which stack to draw from for the next turn. Okay. So now if he draws from the center, we do all this again. So we're each going to be assembling a planet, slowly tile by tile. Okay, let's just give me some tiles here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. As we get the character tiles, well, now we've got a way to know how to score points. Of course, the thing is, you're only going to draft one of these five when they come up. Uh, you can always choose the character stack early, so you have something to shoot for when you're drafting tiles, but then everyone else knows what you're shooting for too, and they're going to make sure that you don't get those tiles, at least as well as they can. Here I have five lamp posts already. If I were choosing first, I've got two sheep, I've got elephant, a baobab, rose. Uh, sure, we'll just go with the lamp post five points now it's unassuming maybe no one will you know worry about lampposts because they're so little and then I'll choose someone else okay that player chooses one and so on okay you're gonna keep adding to your planet you're gonna have four central pieces four characters four right leaning planet pieces and four left ones now as in the book, there is a problem if you get too many baobab trees, right? Three baobab trees will choke the entire planet. As soon as you get a third baobab tree, you have to flip down those tiles, which are nicely arranged so that you don't have to move anything around. Just flip them around. Uh, or 
There you go. And you continue until you finish your planet. We're going to pretend I'm actually drafting things. And there we go. All right. Wow, that was a terrible score, given that I, of course, I wasn't really playing. Um, but you count up at the end. I have the king, so one rose gives me 14 points. Okay, that's not so bad. The uh, geologer here, I believe. Each tile without a volcano gets me a point. One, two, three, four. All right, three points for each tan sheep, one point for each lamppost. We add all of that up, and we see what my score is. Why are the volcanoes bad? Whoever has the most play volcanoes at the end of the game is going to lose one point for each volcano on their board. Since you're throwing out tiles in the game based on the number of players, uh, of course the game changes a bit depending on the number of players in the game. With five players, you know every tile in the game, every scoring uh, combination is possible. Uh, once you start throwing out for four players, you lost four of each tile. You don't know what, how that works. Okay, with two or three players, you throw out another four. How does that work with two players? Uh, because you're still going to flip three tiles. Or sorry, you're still going to draw three tiles per player. But what you actually do is you take turns being the first player. Okay, The person will look at three tiles and put one of them face down and the other two face up. Now the second player will choose one of these tiles. He, if he wants, he can choose this one without looking at it and add it to his planet. Uh, otherwise, he takes one of those two. And it. So are you bluffing or not bluffing? Is this something you want or something you he doesn't really want, but you want him to think he wants it? So that's a two-player game. Three-player game, you just have all tiles face up. With a four-player game, of course, you have four. With five, you have five. And you progress as thus. So the interesting thing about Little Prince uh, is its rage is eight and up. And of course the gameplay is super simple in that you draw tiles, you pick one, you pick other people to have one, and you can just do stuff randomly. And you'll end up at the end of the game with a planet, which you have to because you're going to have 16 tiles which fit together as a planet. Um, whether you made a good planet or not is going to vary, of course, depending on whether you have any idea what you're doing. Eight-year-olds may or may not do that you have to we play with gamers though and you're definitely watching out for i know what you're going for and i know what you can't have and i'm going to let this person choose first so that they can uh take something that i you know hate draft something that they actually need but you really can't have because it's so much it gets a little complicated with five i played with five and three and i watched a two-player game um with five, it's pretty intense. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot you're trying to look at. And of course, there's a big deal about trying to maneuver sometimes so that you're last in the pick. You want to be last sometimes. Uh, sometimes you don't care what's in the mix. You're fine with the last tile, but you really want to go first for the next time to pick up a scoring character, have first shot at a scoring character based on what you've already built up, or make sure you don't get that third big bab, or you know, force other people to get volcanoes, or, you know, Get more snakes or what have you there's it's interesting because it's it's light and yet it's not light at the same time which fits the theme of the book right it's light and it's not light it has this uh charming superficial appearance that you're just like oh okay i can read this but there's more going on under the surface than you, you think at first and there's not much else to say about it uh except i mentioned how the the tiles flip over nicely the Characters in the back, they have a constellation in the shape of the little prince to aid in cleanup, right? The, these tiles, you can confuse them initially if you just flip them over and are very careless with it, but these have two little flowers on them and these do not, so it makes it easy to stack the type of tiles properly and make sure everything gets, gets in its right spot. It's all, I hate to say it again and again with all these reviews I do, but it's very French. It's very organized. Everything's like mean to work well you get well uh maybe i shouldn't be afraid to say it go french Woo.